today I want to teach example 6.1 how to create a two dimensional array array 3 np dot array 2.43 minus 1 array 3 array 2.43 4 point nine seven nine one seven point zero point minus one. Observe that the integers three seven zero and minus one have been promoted to floats. These are integers like three seven zero and minus one. These are integers, but in the output they have promoted as float. So let's do a practical for this example we are going to create a two dimensional array using numpy so i am going to open ideally cell import numpy edge np array array 1 equal to np dot array parenthesis 1 comma 2.0 5 Seven comma nine comma eight. See, we have taken only one float, it is only two point zero, others are integers. Then press the enter key. What happens? Let's see whether the problem two point four, comma three, then comma. brackets okay we need to use two brackets this was the problem so let's create once again array one equal to np dot array parenthesis list this is the first item of the list one comma two point zero then five seven then nine eight press enter key see array is now created it is a two dimensional array then you need to print array 1 press the enter key then what happens only here two watch float but other integers are promoted into float it happens when you use array if one item is float then other item also becomes float example 6.2 array 1 dot n dimension at 
attribute of numpy array some important attributes of a numpy nd array object are nd array dot ndim gives the number of dimensions of the array as an integer value array can be one dimension two dimension n dimension in this chapter we shall focus on one dimension and two dimension arrays only numpy calls the dimensions as axes plural of axis this are 2d array has two axes the row axis is called axis 0 and the column axis is called axis 1 the number of axes is also called the array rank array 1 dot ndim array 3 dot ndim so let's do practice the name of the array is array 1 array1 dot end press the enter key array1 dot end method is called and it is giving the output 2 it means array1 is a two dimensional array let's create a one dimension array array2 is equal to np dot array a b c it is a uh, one dimensional array it is created print array to Oh, there was a mistake in the spelling of array two, so I am typing again array two. See, one dimensional array is printed A B C under type U one. Now I want to find what type of dimensions is having array two, so I need to write array two dot ndim method. Okay, press the enter key. What is print? Uh, what is printed? One. It means this is a one-dimensional array. So I hope you have learned NumPy, NDIM, and two-dimensional array. How to create? You need to like and share the video with your friends so that they can also learn. numpy panda and python programming freely with my online class subscribe the channel so that you can get the notification of my next video friends today you are going to learn how to import numpy through python so you need to write import numpy as np there is a comment numpy is loaded as np okay we can assign any hash name numpy must be written in lower case import numpy as np let's do practice for it on python ideally cell you need to type import m numpy h n 
NP. You need to take care that NumP should be written as a small letter. Now press the enter key. It takes some time. Now NumP is imported. Now what you have to do? We need to create a array. How we can create array? Creation in array called array one from the given list. Array one np dot array parenthesis 10 20 30 so let's create array 1 is equal to np dot array parenthesis square bracket 10 20 30 list is closed array function is closed now press the enter key array is created now we need to print array 1 so type print command array 1 now press the enter key it is showing syntax error missing parenthesis ok so let's understand what where is the problem we don't need to write print we can type only array 1 so it will print array 10 20 30 display the contents of the array so we don't use uh, print command let's do one thing we need type array 1 see array 10 20 30 is printed now we import numpy h mp ok see there is no error it means in place of np you can use any word because it works as a identifier here np is a identifier let's create array array 2 is equal to mp dot array parenthesis then list 10 20 30 40 50 list is closed parenthesis is closed array 2 is created now how will you print the array 2 members simply type the array name array 2 see 10 20 30 40 50 is printed if you try import numpy if you use capital letter as np then it creates a error message what is the error trace back most recent call last file pi cell has 7 line 1 in module import numpy edge np module note found error no module named numpy it the meaning of this error is this capital n numpy is not found because it is used as a small case numpy should be written as in a small case only see import numpy as c 
सी पी और डी पी बी पी सी नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट आर ए थ्री इक्वल टू बी पी डॉट आर ए parenthesis list apple ball cat are three is created now print array 3 see array 3 is printed apple ball cat and its data type is also printed data type is u5 let's do some more practicals this part is completed now we need to create a 1d array array 2 equal to np dot array 5 minus 7.4 a 7.2 array 2 so this should be printed these elements or items array 5 minus 7.4 a 7.2 d type u32 reprinted it means array can hold observe that since there is a string value in the list all integers and float values have been promoted to string while converting the list to array so you need to observe see here are numeric values 5 minus 7.4 numeric value a string but when you print the array all numeric value including uh, others are promoted to a string okay let's do practical for that for array 2 array 2 is equal to np dot array parenthesis bracket some numbers 10 minus 5 2 point or 20 point 5 a is a character list is closed parenthesis closed no error now we print array 2 then what happens see the result now 10 minus 5 20.5 30 is promoted as string because one of the item in the list was a string so all the items were promoted into a string understood so like this way you need to do practice in python ideally cell then only you can learn numpy in a good way without practical you there will be always a problem that you can't understand okay 
so i hope all of you have understood what is numpy how to execute commands on numpy how to make a list how to you create a array and how what happens when in a list some items are different or if one of the item is a string then other numeric items are also promoted to a string so you need to like the video share the video with your friends classmates so that they can also learn numpy free classes they can join subscribe the channel so that you can understand and learn computer science information practice all the parts python programming numpy panda etc thank you very much for watching the video hello this is pankaj edutech youtube channel please like share and subscribe open description box and find the url of the website and visit the website and subscribe the website by your email to update about new educational video and updated information about computer science and information technology through blogs we provide kids learning video for all the subject and as per request of the audience and subscribers we teach basics of computers programming language such as python numpy pend information technology web designing blog publishing and educational course and content designing we also help for developing website for the customers creating youtube channel and training for video creation editing and publishing and advertising please fill the registration for available on our website and place your requirement thank you very much for watching the video